I'm Brian and I do medicine. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, I'm really bad at pitches, I'm telling you right now, but um, I guess basically it's about this story about this girl who meets this guy who apparently commits suicide, but then he somehow comes back into her life through her friends. It's also a story about college life, you know, doing college things. Sounds pretty cool. I'm sorry? Sounds pretty good. Thank you. you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm Jason, I like to draw comics. And uh, what do you have here? What are you working on? Uh, I got this comic called AWOL right there. And that's just be close to your mic. Or no, you can, I can hear me fine from yeah. here, right? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, uh, it's about these teenage runaways that get kidnapped by a secret organization to be trained as corporate operatives. And they escape the program and they're on a run from the feds and mercenaries and another second wave of uh, runaway s spies. It's like, uh, it's like Born Identity meets Degrassi High. And uh, you, Sketch Creek is uh, Toronto based, right? Uh, yes, we are. Uh, these are my friends. They Hello. have comics of their own as well. This is Zen Rankin. My name is Zen Rankin. <laughs> this is Evan Monday. Introduce yourself, Evan Monday. I'm Evan Monday. Very I'm good. Eating, I'm eating Timbit. And, and this is uh, Brian Hong. Introduce yourself, Brian Hong. You've already met me, but all right. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> and how long has Sketch Creek been around for? Uh, uh, two and a half, no, three years, three years. Yeah. You guys were you guys all friends before you started doing this, or you met professionally? Uh, yeah. Well, some of us went to the same college, and uh, Evan, we met through uh, various conventions, and we're like, hey, let's just share a table since we're cool pals and all. Yeah. So, like, what we do is usually just uh, put our work up, our recent work up, on a blog inside of comment, critique each other's work while it's sort of in progress, and then we go in together on tables at shows and sometimes produce things together like we did these group bookmarks and we last year we had a group book that had samples of all our work do you guys i get i mean you work independently but is there you know have you ever, have you ever thought about collaborating on an actual full-length material together uh i don't know i think we're all too uh megalomaniacal <laughs> and uh <laughs> control <laughs> freaks to to work on each other's we've talked a lot about it like someone writing one story and another one of us illustrating it and then going down the line, but we haven't that actually project. done it yet. We're just sort of, we of head down in our own. Project. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very much for your time. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, my name's Tom Scioli. Uh, I'm the artist and co-creator of Godland for Image Comics, yeah, I just, I, I really and I also um, have my own uh, uh, project that, that I uh, write and draw called The Myth of Eight Opus. And you want to uh, tell us a little bit more, I mean, uh, looking at uh, The Myth of Eight Opus, <laughs> the uh, art style seems to be very Kirby-esque. Yeah, the, the Kirby-esque style ha um, it is sort of the, the style that, that um, like I sort of I fell in love with in comics. Uh, Kirby is really I, I just I just think he's the greatest. I, I love his comics. I love sort of the uh, you know the visual effects and things that he has. So when I when I first started out deciding I wanted to try comics, I thought oh, I, I want to I want to do him like Jack Kirby. Like that's. Um, that's like the like to me that was comics like and so I, I worked really hard to sort of learn that style and tried it and um, like the, the first comic I put out which uh, was uh, eight opus um, it was sort of like oh, okay I'm gonna try you know the Kirby style try it and I just sort of fell in love with it fell in love with the process and um, that's sort of become my way of working is that Kirby style and I mean I, I, I tell you know my own stories my own uh, original things trying to come up with uh, you know my own like original uh, concepts but I love that Kirby surface I love that 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 sheen I love the way his stuff moves I love that line and so like I've you know sort of did my best to learn that surface stuff and now I've sort of like absorbed it and it just sort of comes out naturally and I've, I've done other things where I sort of try and get away from it but you can always see, no, no matter how hard I, I try to sort of get away from it, you can totally see that curtain. curtain. Once you take that into your system, it's hard to, to get it out. I noticed uh, that you worked on the Freedom Force comic. Yeah. Uh, Freedom Force, uh, uh, 
computer game from a few years ago that sadly never took off as well as it could have done. I mean, it had a sequel, but it was yeah, never yeah, huge. I, I, I think the first the first volume did really well, and then I, I think the second by the which happens a lot with video games. By the time like the second installment comes comes along, uh, you know. The, the landscape totally changes. Like, and, and um, uh, you know, the, the the types of games that are popular, the technology makes big jumps. And sometimes, if you're like on the wrong side of the jump, so I don't know if maybe that, you know, kept it from, you know. It's interesting that it has a very obviously very Kirby-esque style yes. to it. Uh, you weren't involved in any of the art for the game, right? Just for uh, the comic itself, right? Yeah, I did the comic. So the game and that art and that style had sort of already been established. Uh, some of the art I did for the comic was used in like the packaging for the, the sequel, but uh, yeah, I didn't have any anything to do with the design. I just sort of did the comic. Uh, you know, they 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 had this game where like the hook was, you know, like it's a 1960s, it, it's a, you know a strategy game, but set in like a 1960s comics environment. So then when they made the comics adaptation, it would you know made sense to stay in that visual world. I mean, um, to me though. Uh, I guess in comics, that Kirby style is so much a part of comics that it doesn't sort of have that shocking, jarring effect that it would in the game world. So when that first game came out, it like totally stood out because there'd been superhero themed games before, but they never really looked like superhero. They sort of had like a generic kind of vague like superhero look, but this had a very specific like it's the '60s. It's you know, and uh, they they really like got that period detail like down to a T. It, like even emulating like those old uh, Grant Ray Lawrence cartoons where where the uh, you know the you know it's just a, a, a still picture of someone like screaming at, and just the mouth is moving and you know. I mean, definitely that you can tell that those guys were comic fans, and it's For sad sure, that yeah. you know they haven't got a chance to work on something else in that series. But I mean, the creators of uh, Freedom Force have been very successful since then. They did Bioshock, and yeah. so. You never know; they might return to the, uh, yeah, I, the series. I, I know this was like definitely like a labor of love for them, and um, you know, like it, it was good that it was as you know successful as it was. I mean, it would, I, I would have loved it if it was like a mega hit, just because that's that's sort of my my take. Like, if I'm going to play a superhero video game, that's what I want it to look like. You know, that that's that's the feel I want to it. But now, this, I mean, th that was. Uh, something you worked on with other people's characters, right. but everything else you've done is your own work. Yeah, everything, yeah, everything else is is characters that like are either mine one hundred percent or mine, you know, fifty percent. Um, yeah, that 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 was like a, a licensed thing, and and I I just enjoy so like as much fun as I had with that because it, it was in like a visual world that I was very sympathetic to. Well, that's cool. <laughs> when I'm doing my own stuff, that's when I'm happiest. That, like that, that's my fa that's that's when I can really cut loose and, and you know just do you know create the world my way you know the, the way I want to see it. Hey, thanks very much. You're welcome. It's good talking to you.